I got all the right finger pins inside and you can see that the sidebar flushes completely inside see that it's completely inside flat now I'm gonna use the tape to cover the sidebar to prevent it from popping out and losing the springs with the sidebar this is this is how tiny the springs are that hold the sidebar let me see the tiniest smaller spring the tiniest spring in the pinky is the one that holds the sidebar now I have the perfect alignment of the top pins and the sidebar I use tape to hold the sidebar and help me repin the top because the sidebar keeps moving and if you have tape it prevents from losing the sidebar and the springs and hold it into place and it also gives flexibility and mobility so the key could come out and in smoothly for the key to come in and out the pins on the sidebar have to be able to move now I like to work with the two o'clock position you cannot turn the cylinder because the fingerprints will fall out if you try to turn it to put it back in the cylinder so you have to be very careful uh, rotate the cylinder put it at two o'clock and back inside remember to hold the sideboard because it's so slippery and it falls out so easily so I'm not moving this I'm moving this part the cylinder and making it go at uh, 2 o'clock and put a lot of pressure and hold the bottom sidebar with pressure and the side ball is in ta -da. magic 